HubSpot's revenue analytics enables you to track how much revenue you're generating or losing in a specific time frame, and really helps you understand the impact of upgrades, downgrades, renewals, or churns on revenue. So this is a sales enterprise only feature. Let's take a look at how it works. So to get to this revenue analytics page, you'll wanna to go to reports, analytics tools, and revenue analytics. If this is your first time clicking into this, it's gonna ask you a question if you wanna create the recurring revenue properties, just click yes. If it doesn't give you this pop-up, that means it's already been done for you and you can get started tracking recurring revenue. So this is an example of some data I threw together to show you what this report could look like. And you'll see that in this report, we're tracking new revenue, existing and lost. And these reports are built on a monthly basis. And you'll see I'm filming this in April here. I can even set new revenue for future dates. So if I have projects or products that I'm selling that are starting on a future date, I can still report on new revenue that is coming. And then if any of my projects or anything have specific end dates where I know that revenue is gonna stop being reported on in future months, I can show it as lost revenue coming up. So this report looks great. Let me show you how you do this. And like all revenue reports built through HubSpot, we're gonna to have to go into a deal. So if I'll go into my AFC or Richmond deal, and I have my four properties that are created when I turn on revenue analytics inside of my HubSpot. These are recurring revenue amounts, type, inactive dates, and inactive reasons. So recurring revenue amount is the monthly amount. Again, we're reporting this on a monthly basis. So if you know your amounts that's coming in every single month, say this is $1,000 each month, I'll enter my recurring revenue amount, and then my deal type. So if this is a new business, an upgrade, downgrade, or a renewal, Either way, you're gonna always wanna create a new deal. So if this is a previous customer who might be upgrading or downgrading, each time I should be creating a new deal and setting the deal type for this. So let's just say that this is a new business. And if we don't know our inactive dates or inactive reasons yet, say this is just an active one with no expected end date, we can leave these blank and press save. And then this will start showing up in my recurring revenue reports. Say we do know our end dates, uh, our inactive dates, or say the customer reaches out um, as an example and says that in May, we know that we are going to be upgrading to a, um, a higher level tier, then you would pick the inactive date and you could pick the, the reason and you would say the reason this is going inactive is because they are actually going to upgrade. So what your next steps would be to create a new deal for this company and for that contact and go into recurring revenue again and this time the, the deal type will be an upgrade because you're, you're building a new upgrade. So you're not gonna to wanna to make adjustments to the recurring revenue amount. If the amount changes, you're gonna want a new deal because that'll import um, the history of your recurring revenue analytics reports. Once I'm all good here, I can click save. We'll go into our revenue analytics and give it a refresh. And now we see we have another deal for new recurring revenue for the month of April and we're tracking our recurring revenue right here inside of HubSpot. So hopefully you found this hack useful. Remember to like and subscribe to see more HubSpot hacks. Thanks.